Hello everyone, welcome to my another tutorial. In today's video we will be designing Nike UI design concept like these. Let's get started. As we jump into Photoshop. In these design I will be using Nike logo, and Nike Air Max, sport shoe and these colors. Go to the top right corner of the Photoshop select file new to create new document. Width 1920. Height 1080. 16 bit document. The hit create to the artwork. First unlock the this icon and rename it BG which is our background. Now let's set up the gradient background just as you see in these video. You can use the color of your choice. Double click on the BG and from the drop down menu set up the gradient color of your choice, but for these design I will be using these color gradient sample. If you like this color you can use the codes in this color panel. Make it a radial gradient. Angle 90 degree. Scale 150%. And hit OK. Let's add noise to the background. Create a new layer and fill it with white color, by holding ALT and DELETE key in your keyboard to add the white color. To add noise go to filter and select noise and add noise and set the character as you see in these video. The noise in the background will make design look cool and smooth to avoid any breaking to the color flow. After select the layer and change the blending mode to multiply. Now let's drag in our images, first let's drag in the shoe and adjust it to fit the perspectives of our design. By hitting Ctrl T on Windows or Command T on Mac to transform the image and resize it. Let's sum some shadow to the shoe. From the effect panel select drop shadow and from the drop down menu set up the shadow like these. Opacity 70%. Angle 107 degree. Distance 50%. Spread 0%. Size 150%. Drag in the Nike logo and adjust according by hitting Ctrl T on Windows and Command T on Mac to transform and resize the logo. Let's change the color of the Nike logo to white. From the effect panel select color overlay and from the drop down menu select white color and hit OK. Now let's group all we have done so far and rename them accordingly, you can the same thing I am doing. Let's add our text and from the tool panel select type tool and type in your text in these design I will type the following. You can add the text of your choice. Drag the text from the layer panel and drag it below the shoe so that the shoe come to focus. You can continue to calibrate the text until it become fit to the design perspectives just like what I am doing. Anyway it is always at your choice to choose the best fit for your design, I am just showing you example. Now let's add some element to our dame. Select the elliptical marquee tool from the tool panel. Hold down shift from your keyboard drag on the background to make a circle. Before then make sure that you add new layer to the layer panel where this element will seat. Select the brush tool and paint the edges of the elliptical circle you have drawn by selecting color of your choice just as you see me do here in this video. Transform and resize the circle and place it in the design perspectives just like what I am doing. Also drag the circle from the layer panel to be below both our text and the shoe so that the circle seat directly on the background just as you see in this video. After hit Ctrl J on the keyboard to duplicate the circle just as you see and set them into perspectives. I will skip this area so that I don't keep you waiting.
Now let's add other shapes to the design to be our text handle and product description. Select the rectangle tool and drag and make a shape just like this. We will be using the color sample in the design descriptions you see earlier. Now to change the color of the rectangle go to the tool panel and select the color panel and change the color by navigating using the eyedropper tool over the color in the description tab in this video. Just follow and do what you see me doing. Now duplicate the shape by hitting Ctrl J on your keyboard to make a duplicate. We will make two duplicate of the shape just as you see in this video. In this aspect just do what you see me do in these design and you can also use the color of your choice as you desire. But in this design I will be using the selected color samples. I will skip this area so that I don't keep you waiting. Now adjust all the shape into perspectives by making all the necessary adjustments. Let's add drop shadows to the shape so that they look just like the setting you see in this video. I will skip this area so that I don't keep you waiting. Let's increase the size of the first rectangle shape by hitting Ctrl T on Windows or Command T on Mac to transform it, hold down Shift key on your keyboard, drag the corner of the rectangle and drag to increase the size. Also adjust the size of the Nike shoe and the text so that the rectangle shape will be in alignment with our design. Just follow and do what you see me doing here. Let's add other text to the design, hit on the type tool and type the next text just like these. And resize the text and place in the rectangle placeholder just as you see in this video. Drag the text from the layer panel and place it at the top of all other layer so that our text become visible at the top of our rectangle placeholder. Now make a duplicate of the text and resize it and add drag it to the rectangle shape that we have placed in perspectives. Rename the text and resize and change the color if require, just follow the steps in this video. Do the same for all the text put them in all the placeholder. Repeat the process until you are done with all the text, just as you see in these video. I will skip this area so that I don't keep you waiting. Just do the same thing you see in this video. Now let duplicate one more text for our price tag adjust it accordingly. Now zoom in the design as we want to our setting navigator bar to the design. Follow and do the same. Just do it just like this and everything will look very good and cool. Select the rectangle tool and drag to make small rectangle shape just like what I am doing. After make a two duplicate of the shape and set into perspective just like what you see in this video. And make sure that the alignment of the shape and gap in between the shapes are same. Also let's draw circle and which will represent the app draw in the UI web design page. 
By selection the ellipse tool from the tool panel right clicking on the design background and from show up, panel make the setting like these. Width 14 pixels. Height 14 pixels. And hit the OK to make a circle. Now duplicate the circles and set them in alignment placing a little gap in between the shape just as you see in this design. Now select each of the circle by clicking from the player panel to change the color of each circle just like these, you can choose the color of your choice but make sure that the color you chose be different from the background color of the design. I will skip this area so that I don't keep you waiting. Zoom out the design. Select all the circle and align them to the center right corner of the design just like these. Now we are putting a final touches to our design, now select the Nike shoe and hit Ctrl T on Windows or Command T on Mac to transform it and rotate a bit just like these. Also let's add some highlight to the shoe. To add the highlights make a new layer at the top of the Nike shoe and change the blend mode to lighten. Select a color from the shoe and chose soft brush tool and paint over some part of the shoe just like what you see in the video. If the lighten is too much you can reduce the opacity. Just follow and do the same thing I am doing. Now we are going to group all the layers, select each layer element and group them accordingly and change the name, it all depends on your choice, I am just showing you example. Also change the color of the layer to differentiate the layer from each other. Finally, let's add some more color so that our design to look sharp and clear. Now go to the adjustment layer at the bottom of the layer panel and from the drop down menu and select photo filter, from the menu play around and choose the color of your choice. With this our design is done. Thanks for watching, please remember to subscribe, like, share and leave us a comment in the comment sections of this video. See you on my next video.